we live? Oh, sorry, I didn't... Sorry? You weren't supposed to be here yet. I've not blown up all my balloons. It's hard work, this. Celebrating Independence Day and I'm not even American. But I thought I'd do a special video for all my American viewers. All three of you. No, I kid. There's quite a lot of American viewers watch this. In fact, the USA are my second biggest audience outside the UK, so welcome to all my American subscribers uh, and viewers, and anyone who's just stumbled along and found this video, nothing better to do. You're all welcome in the world of Ibasiac and Vacuons. Right, oh, oh, it's a long time since I played with a balloon. Do you like my display? I did it all for you. So, I'm going to do a little video to celebrate American vacuum cleaners. I don't have very many, but every vacuum cleaner that I'm going to show you in this video is made in the good old US of A. So, let's get on with the video, shall we? Oh, I think that's enough. I wish I'd remembered this earlier, you know, it would have saved me an awful lot of puff. In fact, one did explode. I'm not sure I can do that again. My poor heart won't take it. Just got to do up the knot. That's always a tricky bit, isn't it, with a balloon? Oh! Oh, there we go. One Kirby inflated balloon. Well, let's have a look at all these made in the USA vacuums that I've got out specially to celebrate the 4th of July, America's Independence Day. So, here we go. This, you'll have seen this. Proudly made in the US of A, the Hoover Celebrity Custom. I'll be uh, turning it on and giving a bit of a demo in this video. Then we've got a Maytag. Of course, this is branded Hoover in the USA, a Hoover Caddy Vac, but we got it as Maytag. So these are all official UK export models, but every one of these was made in the USA, including that Maytag there. And of course, the very noisy but lightweight OREC. That was made in the USA. How long they'll be made in the USA now that TTI own them, the Chinese floor care brand. OREC may go the same way as poor, poor Hoover. Here's another Hoover. I've not unboxed this on my channel yet. This is a Hoover Porter Power, the first Hoover Porter Power that we got in the UK. Later models were made in the UK, but the earlier models with this hose were made in USA. Let's just double check. I'm pretty sure. Any of you, can you date this for me? Can you see? I'm doing this handheld does say, made in USA. That doesn't even have a plug on it. This is brand new, unused. I haven't even switched it on. I think I might have switched it on. Yes, I did switch it on for the unboxing, which will be coming up, but the, I took the plug off. It was just to test it worked. I'm not going to do a demo with that one. I want to keep that factory fresh. Well, you've seen quite a bit of Kirby, but I've got Kirby set up for blowing, as you can see, I've got the uh, intake guard on. In fact, it's making a funny noise, folks. I don't know if there's something caught in the fan. When I switch it off, I was going to... Well, I'll just show you, and then some of you can uh, poss possibly comment. I don't know if there's something caught in the fan, but listen. Now, can you hear that noise at the end? What's that? I hope it's not serious. I'm sure it can be fixed. So, yes, I've been using Kirby for blowing. Um, here's that other Kirby. Might put some dirt down for that. I still haven't got a new brush roll for the uh, Kirby Heritage yet. And because it's Independence Day, I went out. I wanted to buy an American shirt t-shirt with the American flag on, or at least some American socks. And I went into an American-owned supermarket in the UK, and there was nothing. So I had to make do with buying some American foodstuffs. 
Well, you can't really call them food. So I bought some Cheetos. Cheetos puffs, cheese flavour. They're very like our Watsits in the uh, UK. Then of course, what's more American than mini Oreo snack packs? And these are new. They're quite nice. We don't actually have Butterfingers, but I remember having Butterfingers. When I went to Florida, I bought back quite a lot of Butterfinger bars. Lovely. And these taste a bit like them. They're sort of like those Hershey's peanut butter cups. Just a copy of those, but they're square. But they're quite nice. And of course, some M&Ms. I like the peanut ones, so they're peanut M&Ms. I'll be stuffing my face with those later. And I have a Dr Pepper to drink, which I might drink during this video, because some of you like to hear me belching for some reason. And after a Dr Pepper, I might have a little belch, but it's only a teeny weeny can. I'll show you it. You might not even get this size can in the USA. I know everything's bigger in the USA. Oh, look, we've lost our doodah. I spent ages finding that, and it's gone. I think the TV's turned itself off. No, it hasn't. I don't know what's going on. Let's try and get that back for you. We, we, just so you know what day it is, I'm actually recording this on the day, just hours before. This is why it's so amateur. So uh, I'm just practicing what it's like to, to do a Rusty Skull uh, style video. You know, oh, south, so, oh, oh, I've got to get it out. Of, sorry, I can't really, I can't get stuff out of focus as easily as he does up there. Oh no, it's it's focusing. Oh, sorry about that. Anyway, here we go. Let's have a look at, I don't know what. Let's put down some dirt for the Hoover celebrity. See if that works. For those of you who saw the Hoover Celebrity unboxing, you might remember it had a terrible plug on. It was covered in tape, and when I took the tape off, the plug fell to bits. So I've got another plug on. I don't think uh, it's of the period, but it's a lot safer. So, let's plug her in. She's actually got a genuine bag in, so it might be a bit better. Look folks, I've just performed open heart surgery on a bag of filth. This is what a bag of filth looks like before it's spread out all over the carpet. And normally, and this one is no exception, the bag of filth is supplied by Henry. I normally use a Henry or a pneumatic cleaner to clean up all the muck from other demos because they have the largest bag, you see. And then I can uh, save the dirt up until it's time to be used again. Ugh. So I'm, I'm trying not to make too much mess today to spoil my lovely display of American-made vacuum cleaners. So we'll pop down some of this. Awful lot of different things in this bag of filth for you. Let's pop that to one side. Spread it out. Seems a shame to, uh, to use a bag for my celebrity with this, but never mind. I have sourced from America, but via Amazon UK, someone who sells the original well, not the original, but at least genuine Hoover celebrity bags. And they fit much better than the cheap imitation ones that I could, that I could get. The only ones I found until I found the supplier on Amazon. There we are. There's just a little, oh, there's a little bit of dust. Let's see if this old Hoover celebrity can pick it up. I wonder which cleaner is going to win this mini battle of the American vacuums. I have a feeling, and I'm sure a lot of you are already shouting out, the Kirby will win. I think you're right, you know. I'm not actually, as I said, I'm not using the porter power. I'm not, I'm not going to dirty that up. But since this celebrity was a used vacuum and pretty dirty when I got it, we'll, uh, we'll use the celebrity. Right, so I've got the uh, carpet thing on full width cleaning, right in the middle there. I'm not sure, I think it had a terrible squeak. I think I've oiled it since the last video. It's certainly a lot cleaner than it was. All right, folks, it's on max. Now, I don't think it's gonna work. I still haven't managed to get the remote hand grip to work. It might just work. <laughs> let's, uh, let's give it a go. No. I did have it working briefly and then it stopped working. Fortunately, I can turn it on via the switch on the machine. OK, we'll just go through the middle, shall we? Wow, that isn't bad at all, is it? 
that's it. Oh, she's a noisy one. That's not bad. It snow ploughed a bit, but not that much, to be honest. Well, that's pretty good going for a straight suction cleaner. Might as well pick the rest of it up and put down some fresh dirt. And uh, we'll see how the Maytag does. <laughs> Okay, I've put down more dirt for the Maytag. I haven't used this for quite a while. I'm not sure if it needs a new belt. I don't think it's hardly been used at all since I assembled it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it on the lowest setting. It might be a bit squeaky. Alright, let's do the old fashioned way of passing backward and forward through the middle. agitation with that Maytag. But look, it's back folks! You've all wanted it. The line of shame is back on my channel. And there you go. It's left a very distinctive line of shame, treasure trail, call it what you will. Well, because there was a lot of agitation going on, let's get some nice close-up bouncy shots, shall we? Of the rice bouncing up into the airstream of the Maytag. Kirby fans will have me hung, drawn and quartered, but I think that's going to give Kirby a run for its money. It's brought up the pile, not much pile on this carpet, but what pile there is, it's brought it up, it's picked everything up. Wow, pretty impressive. Okay then, speaking of Kirby's, let's try, for the very first time, a proper demo with that Kirby there. Bear in mind it does need a new brush roller, so the results won't be fantastic, but it'll be interesting to see how well that uh, Kirby, what's it, heritage, no, legend, tradition, there, got it right, so many names. Let's see how well the tradition does at my bag of filth test. Well, there's, oh, excuse me, well, there's not, get out of it, honestly. These balloons, well, there's not much more American than the traditional Kirby cleaner. It symbolises everything that's great about America. Possibly. I don't know. But anyway, it's heavy, it's metal, it's built in the United States. And they still are. So, let's, uh... Ooh. And I'm sure some of you are shouting out, What about Ricard and what are all those other brands? Well, they don't sell them in this country so I can only show you the American vacuums that I've got and are available in the United Kingdom. Right, let's try out this tradition. Uh, switch on. <laughs> Well, we've got, look 
looks like there's two lines of shame. That Maytag, I know this is an old girl and she needs work, but that Maytag did better. Don't scream at the screen and say, no, you're wrong to me, it looks like. Well, here, of course, is the line of shame going all the way up the middle. And look, there's more. There's more dirt here. But there's certainly a great deal of airflow with this Kirby tradition. Yeah, it's not so bad, even with the brush roll, it needs a bit of work. With a new brush roll, I think we'd get a better result, don't you? But, uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's uh, let's do some more cleaning up with a Kirby. Kirby, I think, didn't do quite as well as that Maytag and I think the results are because of the brush roll. The Maytag is obviously new and has better brushes than this but the Kirby certainly has greater airflow. I could see it, not sure if you could, but I could see it lifting up the carpet so it was really beating out the dirt. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I think uh, with a new belt and brush roll that's going to uh, give any vacuum a run for its money. Well, I'm a bit pooped. So, we've just got two cleaners left in the Great American Suck-Off. We've got the Oric, and of course my favourite Kirby at the moment, the Ultimate G Edition. So I'll have to uh, convert it back as an upright vacuum. But uh, I'm a bit parched. I think I'll have my Dr Pepper. Whew. It's thirsty work throwing down muck, and it's <clears throat> dusty work as well. I've got a bit of dust on my throat, so let's try this Dr. Pepper. It's a long time since I've had a huge Dr. Pepper like this. Can you see that, folks? Whoa, it's a big can of Dr. Pepper. It's not a big can, it's a teeny weeny weeny can. I didn't want to buy a great big bottle of Dr. Pepper, I, because I don't drink it, and... Most soft drinks are poison. Um, anything from the Coca-Cola or PepsiCo company avoid like the plague, even the waters. But anyway, it's America's Independence Day. It's a time when you can stuff yourself with junk food and uh, suffer the consequences later. So any belching will be completely a result of me drinking this stopped pepper. It's only 150 mil. I'm sorry I can't convert that to the imperial measurement. You'll have to Google it. Anyway, this is probably made in the UK, actually. Um, right, let's give it a try. Is it like root beer? I'm not sure. Oh, I should really decant it, but uh, there's time restrictions. Oh yes, I, I'd forgotten what it tastes like. It's a bit like cough medicine. I'm glad I only bought a tiny, tiny can of it. Oh, Dr. Pepper contains carbonated water, sugar, colour, caramel, E150D, phosphoric acid, you shouldn't be drinking acid, preservative, potassium sorbate, flavourings including caffeine, <gasps> who will be buzzing, sweeteners, oh crikey. A the things I do for YouTube, aspartame, which you should not 
consume, nor should you consume the other one, which I can't pronounce, as something K, as th 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 K, contains a source of whatever that is. Oof, dear me. I'm sure my body will forgive me, it's only a small amount. Hmm. So I've got some, as I said, I've got some other little American things. Cheetos. I don't think these will be anything like the Cheetos you have. Shall I open one? Oops, and there goes. <laughs> I haven't got a wet and dry vacuum. Oh, there goes me Dr Pepper, taking the finish off my furniture. Hang on a minute. Oh, dear me. Well, accidents will happen. Looks like it's taken all the finish off. That'll be the acid. Oh, dear me. Never mind. I'll just have to get Pierre, my French polisher, in later to give uh, this table and TV unit a good buffing up. Oh, dear me. Oh, oh it's, gone it's gone everywhere. I can't save it for the blooper reel. You're getting, you're getting me raw today because... I haven't much time to get this video on because you're seeing it. You're seeing it just a couple of hours after I made it. This is what it looked like at the moment. Scary. This is not going to be like my New Year's video where I was drinking gin because there's no alcohol in this, but there's caffeine and there's stuff in it that I don't normally drink, so it might might affect me. What were we doing? Oh, we were talking about Cheerios, weren't we? Cheerios puffs. These will be made in the UK, I expect. So they're not like, as I said, they're not like your Cheerios. Hmm. Here's a Cheerio. Very like a Watsit. Our UK equivalent of a Cheerio would be Watsits. I think what's it's more cheesy than these. But tasty enough. I'll finish those later. I'll also finish later, or well not eat them all. I've got some mini Oreos, mini Oreo snack packs there. And some M M M M M M M M M M M M Peanut M&M's. I might watch a film, an American film, or some Golden Girls, or something American, while eating M&M's, and I'll, th I'll feel really like an American then, won't I? Yeah? Gee, sure, man. My apologies to all Americans watching. And Butterfinger bars. Lovely. Butterfinger cups. So that's my bit of American culture. Let's get this finished and um, we've done the Kirby. All right, we're having the Oryx. Oryx next and the last cleaner to face the Bag of Filth demonstration for the 4th of July, Independence Day 2017, will be my old favourite, the Kirby thing. What is it? Diamond Edition thing. Whatever. I better finish this because I'll only spit it. Goodbye stomach lining. Right then, let's get Noisy Oric out. Test it on the bag of filth. Well, <laughs> there's a blast from the past in the middle of this bag of filth. It shows how old it is. Can any of you, I'm not going to say what it is, only the true fans will know what this is a piece of. Right, there you go, can you see? What is that a piece of? It, it comes from a video. And I'll give you a clue, whoops, it was one of my advent videos, making all those videos killed me. Don't expect 24 advent videos this year, I haven't got the strength. That, that came from an advent video. Comment underneath if you know which one, and you get a virtual prize of a big hug and a kiss. From the celebrity of your choice. Right. Put down the filth, let's get the Oric. 
Before I turn the OEC on, I'd like to advise all viewers listening via headphones to turn your headphones down to setting 1. If you're listening via a speaker, I also advise turning down the volume. I don't want to damage your hearing or your speakers. Right, here is the Uber Uber Light. Light as a feather, especially compared to Kirby. OEC. This is an OEC. What is it? Sort of a classic OEC, just says OEC 1 on it. The only OEC I've got, and probably the only OEC, oh, well, not the only OEC, I do have that uh, canister. Okay, let's line it up, recline the handle, and switch it on. Brace yourself. My poor poor ears. It's a, a narrower swept path. And there's no, there's not really a line of shame, is there? But that's because I think on the OEC, there's a slight line here, look. I think on the OEC, there's no line of shame as such. Because the actual path that it sweeps is pretty unbroken, isn't it? with these very soft but dense brushes on the wooden roller. Shouldn't really do this with the machine switched on, plugged in, but I should be okay. These are next to useless, aren't they? So obviously it doesn't brush at all there or there, but the part that it's actually brushed, it's more or less, I mean, yes, looking closer, yeah. There is bits, but, you know, it isn't bad. In fact, I did detect a little bit of agitation, did you? Let's uh, pass it through the middle of this and uh, we'll have a look at the, uh, see if it does actually agitate the bits of rice. It does a good, good job of grooming. Those uh, soft but pretty dense brushes do bring the pile up and it's picked everything up. Eventually, I went over it, not that often, but you know, I went over it a few times and it's got all the hairs. So, despite the fact it's very, very noisy, it has done a good job. Ah, oh, hang on, what's that? No, I think that's just a mark on the carpet. Tap, tap, tap. So it's a dog hair. So it's hard to judge, isn't it? Hmm, I would say, and don't, don't anybody bite my head off, I'd say that Oric, surprisingly, did a little bit better than the Kirby tradition. But the Oric is brand new to me, and that tradition has probably been used for many years. But still, not bad at all. Well, my lovely display is looking a bit big, big draggled and a mess now. But the final cleaner in this very special 4th of July video will be that Kirby Ultimate G. Before the final test, just a quick word about two brands that aren't actually featuring in this video. Now, they're American brands, but the cleaners are made in China. So that is why you will not see a shark or a Bissell vacuum cleaner. It was just American-made cleaners for today. I couldn't, I know, I, I would be lynched if I was to show you a Chinese-made shark on America's Independence Day, wouldn't I? I'm sure I would. 
I'm nothing against shark. I know a lot of you don't like shark, but a lot of people do. I like lots of vacuums. So here we go. Put down quite a lot of dirt. And just a quick uh, disclaimer, the bag in this Kirby is quite full already. But this is not a scientific test. It's just a bit of fun to celebrate America's independence. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's uh, switch on, adjust the height and switch on tech drive. <laughs> video. Oh, it's left a bit. But all in all, I can't see, actually, I can't see any line of shame. And did you see that agitation? Wow. I think it's even, this is very impressive. Look at this. This line here of fine dust looked very much like the rest of this. There's tea in here, oats, and rice, but the agitation has actually removed, by the looks of it, the tea, the oats and the rice. It hasn't got to the fine dust yet, but when I pass the Kirby over that, it will get that as well. So it, I could see it actually pulling in from the sides, which you don't see often when uh, demonstrating vacuum cleaners. So yes, despite the Kirby being a bit impractical for some people, it is a fantastic deep cleaner. is over folks and after any good party there's always a mess to clean up after but uh, not many parties have this sort of mess to clean up after do they but it was all in a good cause well I've got a lot of clearing up to do <laughs> a little bit of an unusual party but uh, it was enjoyable all the same I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope all my American viewers had a fabulous Independence Day. And to all my viewers, it doesn't matter whether you're from America, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, France, Belgium, Germany, Sweden, the UK, even Scotland. You're all welcome here. You're all VAC fans. Well, you all are. If you're watching to the bitter, bitter end, you must be fans of vacuum cleaners. Uh, which vacuum won? Well, let's say the Kirby. I thought it would be. But the Maytag and the Orec did pretty well. I'm afraid the Hoover Celebrity came bottom, but wasn't really a fair, fair contest because it's a straight suction cleaner and you always get deeper cleaning with an upright. Uh, just a quick comment to you all. Um, I've been a bit lax in responding to comments under the last few videos. I'll get to that as soon as I can. But also I'm planning, if there's a demand, I'm planning on doing another of the shout out slash questions uh, answered video. So I'll make a short video requesting your requests and you can comment under that video and then in a week or two after that I'll make my response video. I've done them before if you're familiar with them. So if you want to shout out or if you've got a question about vacuum cleaners you want me to answer, if I can, then look out for the request video coming up very soon. So that's it. Have a great day. See you all, well, in the next video.